um, we just want to display errors here. So let's do that rather quickly. So here we know that uh, here there are errors. So the alert should be a message and the message should say, please correct the errors on the page or something so that the user knows that there are errors in case they haven't seen them and then here uh, we can just say profile instead of data saved successfully and then once we uh, the user clicks in fact before they even do this uh, we'll create another function here to display errors okay so it's better to create functions for each specific uh, thing so display errors and then we'll pass in the errors object there okay so let's create that function display errors we'll create it right here and say function display errors and put errors there as an object so all we need to do is loop through these uh, op these errors and then display them so here what we would do is we need a way to get these items without actually grabbing them like we did when sending the information so uh, let's see here there are inputs here but we have these guys the small text so what we can do is just add class names here that correspond to these so here I will say something like JS error hmm. oh, how can I do this uh, more quickly nah let me just use the key names so JS error and then the key so copy this I want to go through all these small 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 Um, or let me use this so in case the search isn't working just click uh, regular expression to remove because sometimes with all these symbols it thinks you're trying to create a regular expression so let's go here and add this one here as well this one instead of phone will be email and let's go ahead and do this one Twitter underscore link. This one is Facebook link. Remove that. And this one. I probably would have created something to get them as they are, but that would have just uh, made the code even more unreadable so let's just do it the old-fashioned way linked in underscore link and that's probably it let's go back up 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 let's see where we haven't added so one is needed here last name so and then finally, first name. All right, so with that in mind, also the image is a thingy. In case the image, actually we didn't put one for the images here, so we should have copied this. Uh, let's see, remove profile image, blah, blah, blah. Outside the label, let's put that right there. And let's say image, yes, yes, image, goodie. Okay, so now all we need to do is grab any item with JS error dash and then the key on the other side and then that will send to the correct one. So I'm just going to copy that part, the JS error and come down here to the function that displays errors. So, So what will happen is now we're going to loop through each item. So errors is, I don't know, it's an object, is it? Yes. So let's see if we can loop using keys. 
So I'm just going to say for a key in errors. And then now what I want to do is grab an item and display information. So we don't even need to save it to a variable. We can just say query selector and then here put a dot and then paste JS error. And then we know that it will have the key over here like so. Okay. So once we grab that item, we say dot in a HTML of that item is equal to, and then we get that particular error and add it there with at this particular key like this. This is all we need to display those errors, simple and straightforward. So let's see what possible problems we can have here. So now let's try if I put numbers here, what do I get? Mm -hmm. I'll save. Okay, so we have an error somewhere. So console.log, it's saying document dot query selector in display error. So if you watch closely here, when you're troubleshooting in JavaScript, you see that it shows you which functions it went through. So it went through the send data function, which went well, handle result went well, then the displays error is where things didn't go very well. So that's where the error is in that particular function. So if I click here, sometimes it will show you where the code is sometimes not. So this is the key here. It's saying it can't find this item. Mm -hmm. Okay. In HTML. So it's saying this item is not found. Okay. So let's see exactly what these items, what these are supposed to be. So what I'll do is I'll do a console.log here. Console.log is very useful so you can see what's going on. So I want to see what this results in so that I know why it can find it. Okay, so I will refresh the page and then type, and then let's inspect the console and then save. Wait a minute. Why you saved success? Oh, I didn't put numbers, I put text, save. Okay, so this is what it can find, which is strange, isn't it? JS error dash first name. Don't we have an object like this? Okay, so let's try and find it. It's right there. So what's going on here? This is a class, right? Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is weird. Maybe I'm missing something document query selector dot nope this looks okay and what's the error it's saying type error this is no which means it didn't find it that's what it means hmm this is indeed weird Hmm. Okay, let me try and add it directly. Uh, let me add it directly here and see if it will actually show up without using the key. So JS error, oh, let me put that dot there. Oops. Okay, so let's see if that works out. Still saying it can't find it. This is, uh... okay, maybe I'm tired and <laughs> there's something I'm not seeing here that's weird. Yeah, because the item is right there. Yeah. Huh. This is weird. Okay, let me try and change it to a div. Maybe it has something against uh, these elements, the small type. So let's try that because I'm out of ideas here. Still, it's saying uh, not found. You know, I just figured it out. Um, let me change this back to small. 
uh, the reason it can't find this is because I put an if statement here that says only if there's an error should it actually show. So this is where the problem is coming from. This is going to create a bigger problem now. Okay, that's what I was trying to avoid, but no problem. Uh, we'll figure it out. So let me do a find for this so I can go one by one. So what I need to do is copy this and put it outside the if statement, but then uh, remove the content like this. So I should do this to every one of these. Copy this, put it after this, and then remove the content. Next one, copy, paste, remove the content. Okay, that way it's available all the time. So let me just see if it does not disturb the flow of the page. Okay, it doesn't. But let's try and see if it work on the first name and last name. So I'm going to save. Please correct the errors on the page. Okay, so there we go. Last name can only have letters without spaces. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, this is last name. This one should be first name. Okay. Why didn't first name work? And why is it on this? Uh, what's happening? Hmm. This is supposed to be first name, not last name. In any case, let's do this for every one of these. So we'll go down, copy that. We can fix that error quite easily and close this. That's for the phone and oops, let me copy that for the email. And finally, or oh, not finally, these links down here, quite a number of them. I may copy, paste here. I'm leaving the other ones uh, just in case you want to change to the normal posting and you don't like this, then you can still use both by just removing uh, the event listener on, let me see here. Just copy you remove the event listener on the submit uh, the submit button which is this one so if you remove this and then make sure that this is a submit button then it will go back to the normal version but you still need to remove this die remove this and put this back so it will be a slight process but at least you can get back to that if you want it so the rest i think is good all right cool so let's try again i'm going to do this let's try with first name and send please cor correct the errors first name can only have letters and spaces okay great wait but why why was first name and last name on the same thing last time let's see first name uh, last name. Oh, I see. Maybe because uh, no, they are not on the same level. So maybe because of the no, it should work just fine. Let me do this. Please correct the errors. Last name. I don't know why it's in here. Uh, let's try phone number. The wrong phone number. Let's see what happens. Save changes. So every one of them is just coming here, which is uh, not very good, is it now? Um, but why? I, I do not understand because here this should have worked just fine. Mm. Okay. This is not even in an 
another item at all. So let me try and move the last name one into this div that has the uh, the input itself. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's try here and save. Okay, that's weird. So I'm going to undo that. Maybe let's... Um, How come this shows just fine? This is very weird uh, to see. Let me remove the text danger from uh, last name and try again. It still comes up to the top there for reasons I have no idea. Anyway, uh, I'll figure it out and fix it. We shouldn't get hung up on this. This is a very small issue. It's just the positioning of these uh, items. I'll go through it and finish it uh, later than I'll update it. But otherwise what's happening now is that everything saves as you'd expect. Mary, Jane, and then let's save. So profile saved successfully, that's good. If we have an error anywhere, uh, maybe phone number is different. It won't save. It will say please. And then the problem is it moves everything to here. For some reason, I have no idea why. Uh, but we'll figure it out later. But otherwise, everything works fine now. So this should be it for the profile uh, page here. And it should refresh the page once it's done saving. That's the last thing to do here. Let me go very, very bottom here. Handle result. And then if everything was good, like profile was saved successfully, then I can cut this window location, cut it from there, and I will put it here so that it can reload the page and show us the new information. So that if I change the name, for example, Mary J, it should update there. So save successfully, good, then it updates. Let's remove that and save, and it updates. Let's change the image. Let's try a video instead. Then it refuses to continue. Let's try a different image. Uh, where are the images anyway? Let's try Brother Ed here. And let's save. Okay, cool. All right, so now things are running smoothly, which is good. We'll fix the errors later. I want us to go to creating courses now because that's the crux of the project here to create video courses. All right, so let's continue in the next video.